What's up folks, welcome to Wasted Space and welcome back once again to the Rim, where I have been doing a little tweaking like I do every now and then with the zones, so our zones should be a little bit more set up properly, like for example the haulers can now get to everywhere they need to. I think that would be probably useful, I'm going to let the hauling animals in here. So be it, they won't starve that way and at least they'll be able to help with the food harvest, I've sorted out some of the other stuff, I've sorted out the home zone, and that leaves us only with getting on with it. Now I am looking at snipes at the moment on the basis that he's not looking too great but it's also reminded me this wooden bed here needs to be got rid of there is an argument for i might be about to move the hospital i don't like this as a hospital setup anymore on the basis that it is uh, it, everyone gets disturbed every time someone comes in i would like to do a hospital setup that didn't involve everybody being in one room having them split out now that's quite expensive we do have the silver to do the floors at the moment so the question is whether or not there's a sensible place. Because up here, we wouldn't be able to build a big enough room, really. There'd be really tiny ones. And I'm not sure that's a great plan. Everyone is unrestricted, so this is just not giving them stuff to do. Let's just make sure people are trained for hauling. You see, yeah, they are all trained for hauling, guys. This one is follow the master, not hauling. For whatever reason. But yes, all of our guys are trained for it and happily going about that side of things. Let's have a look at my list of stuff, and one of the things we're going to begin with is all the way down here. Look. Look. Gold dust. Gold dust of components. Actually, we do actually have 26 right now, and just to answer something, I can't deconstruct this. It doesn't work. People were pointing it out in the comments, but no, it's, it's not deconstructible. Yeah, I just can't get rid of that thing for whatever reason. When you try and claim it, that doesn't work either, so... Don't know. I do want to get a bit of a floor in here, so just in case there's a fire, we don't have any problems. Uh, just concrete, preferably. Like that, that should do it, although I don't actually think we can get it underneath like that, can we? We can only get up to the edges of it, so more like that than anything else. So this middle area, what are we going to do? I want to get that side of things sorted out. Oh, I did sort out the stockpiles in here as well, a little bit at least. Got rid of the one that was blocking the door, for example. Probably want someone to prioritise hauling that because it's held open at the moment. That's all fine up there. Get moving, folks. Ah, right. One stockpile I did forget is the one that I'm going to put on the floor in here. Like so. And then this is actually going to not have anything. But it, what it'll do is mean that they keep counting the number of meals we have available and don't overcook because they're in a stockpile when, and they drop it on the floor. The other thing I need to do is make sure that our kibble is not set to a minimum cooking. No, it's not. So it's just a case of making sure that Alicid is actually doing that. Now, he's peeling right now. Why do they like that bed in the middle so much? It's not a good one, guys. It is not a good one. Anyway, as part of this whole deal, right, this is... That's the line I want to keep, so let's start getting rid of the sandbags out here because we're going to want to actually bring this area inside and then down this side I'm going to line up with this. Do we line up with that? This one's lining up with... In fact, that one doesn't line up at all, does it? We're going to continue down there. That's the one we keep. That's outside. So on this side, that would make sense as well. So on this side, what we're going to do is actually deconstruct that entire row. Uh, let's also, just to be safe... Let's make this a no roof area for the time being just in case something goes horribly wrong when they're deconstructing and they deconstruct it on their own heads. Now these sandbags I'm going to keep for the time being. Oh look, an iguana. An iguana. Hello friend. Um, one of you guys, can you just prioritise hauling that so it's not blocking the door anymore? That'd be nice. I know we've got racks that we can put out, but I'm going to hold off on that for the time being. Today is going to be about moving this stuff around, and then I want to get a proper animal area, because this is crap. Because I actually want to start raising chicken. Anyway, we want to get a proper prison, if we can, and we want to get a proper hospital. Because right now, those things are all rubbish. All a bit crap. But the first step has got to be to get this actually converted into a building. Oh, people also pointed out, I miscounted in here. Yeah, I miscounted in here. These are not necessary. At least not for the time being. In before that, we know it's not necessary because this room didn't have them. So, <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to put those down, but anyway. 
One thing I did do with this uh, was I slightly higher prioritized this stockpile than this one, so that the stuff will be a bit closer by default. Let's hold these open, given that they, for whatever reason, seem to want to use those doors rather than anything else. Weird that they don't calculate that into the travel time. Or maybe they do, and that's just still quicker. Bit odd. What else we got down here? Dogs are allowed in the fridge, equipment racks, yeah, yeah, yeah. And all areas are done. Stop on the kitchen, home zone, done all these things. Medical research, we're on some of that. Hospital bed, yep. Those are good suggestions, as usual. This should be held open as well. It's slowing everyone down. Quick, let's go and hang out next to the geothermal. Why not? Cool, that's cleared off in there. There's an argument about doing that with this one as well, but so far it's not been a problem. They are sort of slowly getting on with that, and I suppose if I speed it up, it might help. Have people been down there in mind for me? They have. Oh, there's more. There's more! Now well, that could not get better. Steel supplies are looking vaguely okay. Iguanas are out to taunt me. Might want to go and get some more meat while we've got the opportunity to. Ongoing hunting efforts. Is there any nice pack of animals around here that aren't explody type that we might want to use? I'm not actually seeing a suitable pack. They're all boomalobe. I don't want to fight boomalobe. We've got some, some deer, elk, whatever they are. I can't even remember. Ram, that's the one. Down that direction. And emu down there. Party. I haven't had a party in ages. It's pretty cool. Miguel got halfway across the map and then decided it was party time. And a skate pod. Oh, hello. What are you like? Teetotaling optimist and capable of artistic and plant work. That's not a problem. Quite good at crafting. Nothing terrible in that respect. Not horribly old. You might be worth... I mean, the problem with capturing you is we don't have anywhere to put you. Not unless we gave you just a random extra spot in there. Did we give up on rat? Another teetotaling optimist, the one that can do everything. Do we stick a temporary bed down in Rat's room? I'm really not prepared for this, am I? Again, it's the same same issue. We need to be moving this stuff around to give ourselves more space for this sort of stuff to happen. I guess if I'm really keen, then it has to be a sleeping spot in Rat's room. Basically. And we go for capture, because otherwise they just wander off. Look out. I'm afraid. Because they, they can join you if you rescue, but they don't necessarily. Mm. High crafting could possibly join in with the cooks. Can haul. Let's go for a rescue, and if they happen to join me, then they join me. Great. And if they don't, they don't. At this point, we're not desperate for colonists until we start working on some of our caravan projects, which we're not quite ready for yet. Soon. The fact that we've run out of prisoner spots and beds for new colonists and so on is a bit of a giveaway that we're not totally ready for that yet. An eclipse. Everyone in there looking happy. Look at them all. Yeah. Look at them all. Major break risk. It's because you were rebuffed by Dresden, you're a pessimist, and you're urgently hungry. Going to the party with no food. That's a bit of a crap party, isn't it? Okay, so they've sort of done some of this stuff out here. In which case, let's get on. We've got... Does our infinite supply of granite continue? Or have we moved on to... No, we've got loads of granite. That's fine. Okay, so we've got a granite wall down there. Uh, we're going to want to deconstruct most of these doors and replace them with more sensible doors. This can't all be like that. We are going to end up putting a door elsewhere in this wall on the inside side of things too. This cooler is going to need to be moved. Because that's just going to heat this room rather than cool it. Where do we want to put the doors on the side of this? I mean, do we want to do this still? I don't think that's a great plan, honestly. 
We have one, if we have them in the wall, we don't need one on the corners there, but still having a way out directly would probably be a good plan. Line it up to just there. And on the other side, there we go. Give them a chance to get on with that. Can't believe the people are that angry with me. And the Ellie's still idle. We've got more art for you to do, or you someone else done it. No, it's just Dresden's on it. I see. When we move this stuff in here, we'll have room for more of you to be working on that at one time. It'd be quite nice. Quick, let's expand the stockpile back up to fill things properly. And this side. Cool. Might want to cut that one up to give him better access at some point, but for now it doesn't look too bad. Hauling's fine, we've got potatoes, we've got a bit of kibble. What have I got actually kibble set to? Uh, let's have a little bit more than that, shall we? Do until we have, yeah, is there not way? Because you make this in groups of 50, so. 750 kibble, just waiting. I think that's the plan. Alicid, bro, what are you up to? Deconstructing, can you actually go and... Oh, yes, we were going to go hunting. We we're going to go hunting. Now, machine guns, apparently, were recommended for a bit of hunting. Siegmeier. You can't fight. Ah, do you know what we should do? We should do Snipes' arm while we can. Poor guy. Snipes. What arm is it? Left. It's not looking good, man. Bionic arm, left shoulder, and let's give him the last Glitter World. Wow, latches. Not looking in particularly good condition. Spewing blood across the hospital. Cats not seeming that bothered about actually doing the medding. Carrying medicine. Cats is making medicine. Has Latch even been Cats, man? Why can't you... You can strip... Have I this been set to not give them any medical care? Yeah, it has. Doll. Should we look after the people with radish? Ooh, I'm not sure about that. Your, you mean, your medicine's only ten versus old cat's fifteen. I think it might be too late to stop it. To be fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well. Good luck, snipes. Good luck. It's with glitter world, so you should be all right. Okay, yeah, looks like Radish didn't screw it up. Good stuff. Good stuff. I apologise for my occasional sniffing. I'm mostly, mostly on the mend, but there's a few little remnants of that. Get left. Alright, they've actually done most of what I asked them to do out here, so... Let's get the rest of the granite wall filled in. That side's done as well. This is definitely going to need support. What is it? 21 by... Because I'm tempted to make this one massive room. 21 by 25. Maybe making it one massive room's not necessary. Maybe we make the bottom half a massive room and the top half becomes hospital and prison. Hmm. So if we were... Let's just plan this quickly. I believe that is the right distance up. No, it's not. We can go one further than that. So that would be... This would be crafting room with 11 blocks, a 12 block total. Yeah, we could go one further if we wanted to. And this would be combo prison and hospital. But we'd want a good corridor straight down. So imagine we've got that there. Where do we put... This becomes our... This isn't quite central, is it? So maybe we have a corridor down like that, which means that you then have that being in between the two. How would we split this up? That's not a sensible shape or size, really, for this, is it? What we want is to make this into m as many room sort of this sort of size as we can manage. What are they? Six by... Six by thirteen. Six by thirteen. I bet you we can't fit another one properly in there. No, we can't. But it leaves a two block gap, I think. Six by thirteen. 
6 by 11 yeah that still doesn't fit quite right unless we we keep the prisons a bit smaller so those would be prisons those would be hospitals and then do we have room to do it again 613 like that maybe prisons hospitals and then this remaining section is our crafting room down here we've got a nice route straight through from this main area down to it it's got direct connection onto all of this stuff and gives us about twice as much space as we had up here was that by 10 and this is by eight okay so it's not quite as much space vertically but much more width wise to fit multiple of these in That's relatively elegant, I suppose. Then if they do have a prison break, they come straight out into the turrets as well. <laughs> the other option is to put the prison somewhere like down here and not worry about it here. But I actually quite like that. And then I can convert some of the extra space we've got up here, like just here, for example, into more bedrooms. Same with rats room, that just becomes one of our colonist bedrooms. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna give that a try. It does mean that these auto doors were both built in stupid places. But that's fine. That's fine. Let's do something about that immediately. So we're going to want, therefore, this will just be a, a granite standard door that gets held open. That needs deconstructing. Or will do. I won't do it yet because outside's not actually roofed over. Those do both need deconstructing, replacing with proper doors. We're going to want to add a, a better door system down here once the room is built, but then we're also going to want to give these way, guys a way of going outside, so I reckon there and oh, there and there is the option for that. That's our way in there. And then we can also have one there and one there. Cool. <laughs> Ellie's still idle really find anything to give it a do for the time being. Are we actually going to have enough granite for this? We may well do. We've got loads of granite and sandstone. Okay, in which case, let's start laying these out. Slightly smaller prisons than we have bedrooms, but I feel that's about right. Let's not, let's not treat them too well. Bedrooms slash hospitals, I suppose. Okay, and then doors-wise, these can just have... Oh, the, the, the prisons can have granite doors on them. Like so. The hospitals can have wooden auto doors. Nice, and then the only one I'm missing is one down here, which can be just a standard granite door, because that one's going to get held open. Sweet! And as soon as that's done, I suppose I should also just remove the slightly ugly extra bit of flooring we've got kicking around just there. Because we're going to end up it's almost doing what we've got this side, but on this side, so they can come out of these and set up behind the turrets. I think that would be pretty cool. Not particularly flush on wood. How much is this for sandstone? Four. Well then, that's pretty straightforward. I wonder when Randy's going to come and give us a poke. He's being very quiet at the moment. Went through an eclipse. Our new Geo setup's perfect for this. Doing good. Especially when those are all running at full as well. Pull that rubbish out of there. Wow, construction madness. Ellie. Can you not construct at all? Or should I just... Mm, my construction skills are terrible. Screw it. I'll leave Ellie. <laughs> and have a bit of a break. Pretty sizable difference between the guys that are actually decent at construction and the guys that aren't. <laughs> and we can probably also, at this point... 
clear both of these no roof areas. They don't need to be anymore. Oh no, idiot, idiot. I keep forgetting that what we need in these rooms is sterile tiles, not what I'm putting down there. Yep, not very clever. Especially as one of these rooms here, I think it's this one, yeah. This half, none of these actually placed either. That's expensive, but hey, should I need to do it once? And then I can actually reinstall the hospital beds down here, for example. Vitals monitors can be connected to... Yeah, only one. One medical bed can link to... Yeah, to only one vitals. Cool. Almost at the point where we can start holding this stuff open. I need the roofs kind of finished before that works. And the walls. And the doors. And all of the things. New lovers. Slinger in Dresden. Nice. What I did forget as well was vents. I need them there, and that'll be our replacement for our cooler there too. Quick, let's deconstruct that cooler now. We'll end up outside in a moment. And floor-wise, looks like we want a wood tile down there. Load of all the different colours of light. Let's let, let's do it. Why not? So our hospital, our new hospitals, can have blue lights. Where am I putting them? These corners. Looks like I'm gonna need to make sure we run a bit of extra power around here as well. Does make some sense. So at the moment, let's have power straight down both sides without a break in it, thank you. And then maybe power down the centre like that too. In fact, let's not, let's not beat around the bush. Let's wire these rooms up. Waste all of our new steel in one swift move. Yeah. Blue light in the hospitals, red light. Yeah, it's gone very um, sim world, haven't we? <laughs> red lights. Where are they? Red lights in the prisons. Did I manage to ditch all of our sandstone that quickly? But oh no, they're the sterile tiles, aren't they? But I did ditch the sandstone so fast that we need more now. <laughs> Latch is fully healed and is fecking off. Is fecking off. You could have joined us. It's fine. We would look. We just build new, new cool things. But no, off you go with you. Not that bothered. Not that bothered. Perfect. So yeah, move that one in there. You can be reinstalled in this room with your vital monitor. I guess we can whack a sculpture spare in one of these. Do we have any spare statues? I haven't done a statue check in ages. No, apparently not. Apparently art is not happening at the moment. Can kind of understand. I am keeping them pretty busy with other stuff. Combat supply. Nice. Cats. Wait, you hide in. Can you want to go and give them a ring? Okay, so what do we do? Do we sell our mortar shells? Possibly. They're worth a fair bit. Could buy components for a ridiculous amount of money. They've got kidney heart, joy wire, buy a kite. I think I will take that actually. Seen how useful it's had been, just having a stock of bionic parts around, so. No worries. Silver, jade, 
Jade, you can't break down because it's not metal. Silver plastic, I'll keep all those. Uranium knife, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Our selection of spare weaponry, which isn't too bad. Aha, dead man's apparel. Bye. Bye. Don't need you crap. And then ours, that's just rubbish. Uh, that stuff's all sort of wearable. That one's not. Turkey leather duster. I make my dusters from turkey. Dead man's hats and the like. That can go as well. I did say we wanted to start making ourselves some better armour. Not for that price. <laughs> and then personal shields. I don't need all of these shoddies. No, 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 this is so many personal shields. We do not need this. And they're worth hella cash. It's normal and superior. We keep these ones, right? And then we get rid of the rest? I think so. I think that makes some sense. Look, we're getting 3,000. Wow, that's a scary amount of money to get out of it. Do we want to buy any guns? It's normal knife rifle? It's superior sniper rifle for 1,000. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We'll take that in a trade that's this expensive. Normal sniper? No. I think that might actually be all they've got that I want from them, but I suppose we could buy components for loads of money. No, that's too much money. Okay, someone gets themselves... Who is, who is next on our list of adept shooting? So, Miguel's already got nine. Seven for some aristocrats. Is that eight for snipes? Snipes with the bionic arm! And... A snipper riffle. Once I've figured out where the hell it dropped that stuff. Where on earth did they ditch that? I'm, not ex I'm only expecting to find a sniper rifle is the problem, but... Where? Our trade beacons are all down here, but they can't land inside. There it is. Before it deteriorates... Snipes, let's have a look. Character wise, you know, relatively decent move speed. Shooting accuracy is not that great. What's actually causing that? It's because your trigger. Actually, that's perfect. Trigger happy with a sniper rifle. Yes. Yes. More getting done. More getting finished. Nice. Still not out of granite yet. Not quite. Who's this? This is someone being forsworn a personal shield that's not necessary, right? Yep. Dresden, ditch. Um, um, forbid that one. And then do you want to go and get yourself one of our actually nice personal shields? Yeah. Better. Better indeed. About to finish shifting stuff out of the meds. Let's copy these. I'm going to want to put a sort of central stockpile for meds that's just easily accessible. So I think maybe just there in the corridor. We could go for one in each room, but I don't think we have enough meds for that. So just sitting out in the corridor might be the best way. Okay, this can now be held, held open. As can that one, I think. Yep. Nice. And then furniture-wise, we're going to want some beds for our prisoners. Is a double-wide bed any better? I don't think it is. Those in there. We might want a light in the corridor at some, well, at some point. And I also want to put that vent down I've missed. Yeah. Still not quite out of metal yet. I'm sure that's going to come soon. Looks like that door could now be held open. Because this is not any hotter, is it? No. That door could now be held open. Ease root, and I'll do a duplicate of that over this side. There, maybe? Uh, do you 
three. No, that does work. We have the things in the corners, ish. Stuff breaking down. Cool. What do we get? Excellent, superior, normal, good. That'll do. Uh, that's not a sealed room yet. Let me put the uh, blocks back in the corners. And maybe even, maybe even, ditch all of the plans I've got kicking around here that are ugly. The only bit we need to do is start moving the stuff out of here now. And unfortunately, resetting up all of their things. Uh, Mr. Sterile Tile in the doorway. Last one. So even ha even having spent all that money on sterile tiles, we've still got 6,500. Six wow. Not bad. Uh, and having set up and sorted out all of our uh, zones to begin with, I now need to fix them again. Not in the hospitals, please. Not in the prisons, please. Thank you very much. And the same for herbivore. And carnivore. And probably animal safe as well. Check. Actually, no, animal safe won't have them allowed out here at all, will it? Nope, probably not. Right, we're missing. Ah, that will need to be sandstone, but I'm going to need to queue them up getting some sandstone done. A random bit of limestone that's going to wind me the hell up. Get rid of it. Right, stone cutting table. What's going on? What's going on here? Let's get the sandstone up. Better med supplies are enough that let's get ourselves. Uh, how are we doing this? So this is another hospital bed. Only one for the time being. And then MISC vital monitor. Should get the ground penetrating scanner and so on up as well at some point, I guess. Why does monitor don't actually cost that much? There's only 10 for those beds. Let's get both up then. Let's get both. I keep thinking it's 20, but it's not. Ah, now if I was intelligent, what I would have done is put these things in the corner so that I can fit a table in each room so that they don't get angry at the fact that they're eating without a table because that's one of the things that can help us actually recruit people. Probably a good plan. Our hospital up, up here can now be converted. We can delete that stockpile. Get rid of the floor, which is hideously expensive, and add a granite wall in over the top there for another bedroom. What's happening? Break down everything. Short, whatever. Did say I was going to do some hunting this episode, didn't I? Unstoppable is pregnant! <laughs> Alright, well, probably not hunting at night, but hey. Uh, right, we, ha we are dead out of steel now. So we are back to the point where mining is necessary. We pretty much exhausted anything we could find in there, didn't we? So I guess it's back to doing down here? I think what I might do as well as part of this is actually go straight through this in this direction. Give them a straight route out without having to run around the side. Some more of that steel does mean the air again. Ground penetrating scanner. Requires a huge amount of electricity, doesn't it? Just. And 400 steel that we don't have. We do have the components. Might end up having to pause for component construction at some point. That's part of what causes it. But mostly looking okay. Let's haul this rubbish. That side's looking alright. Random bit of plan, just kicking around for no reason. Carolina is pregnant. Incoming dags. Like to get on with a bit of building at night. You're up very late. You a night owl? No. Have I forgotten to give you your things? No. You're just up very late. Okay. Cool. And furniture for in here. Let's hope they can build some some half decent beds.
We can also get rid of that now, can't we? Not necessary. What do we get? Normal. Normal? They're removing the wood floor again in there. I think they did. I think they got a bit confused. Normal? Stop it. Might have to chop some more wood as well. I wouldn't be surprised. Get some of these trees out here done. Stuff down here is looking alright. I think it might be on to moving the workshop in a second. A lot of it can be de deconstructed and reinstalled and so on, but what have we got? Wooden bed superior, that's what we're after. Only a mediocre bedroom, apparently. That one's a decent bedroom. All the dags are pregnant. No one is surprised. Base is looking reasonably efficient. So I can't reinstall a com console. I can. Can we reinstall any of this crap? No. No, we cannot. The only thing we can reinstall is the multi analyzer. <laughs> Roger that. Well, at least I can therefore build duplicates of everything first. Copy over before I confuse myself. Supply of meds is building back up again. Do until we have 35. I think that's still reasonable. 269 herbal meds. Probably growing a few too many of those. But whatever, we can actually sell those on if need be. Or convert them into meds to sell. It's only um, herbal meds and cloth in the end. Oh, and neurotamine. That's a good point. Can we make our own neurotamine? I don't think you ever can, can you? I think that was one of the one of the things is there's never any actual way of doing it. Make medicine. No, I don't think there's any way of making neurotamine, unfortunately. Fine then. A bit frustrated that we don't have the sandstone for this. I could actually have to go and find some sandstone and get them to haul it over. No, it's there. It's there. People are just not getting on with that side of things. All right, let's do some hunting then. Once people wake up, it's hunting time. And then I might have to think about animals and what to do with those guys. Because this, this is a bit crap. <laughs> in reality. Just them all stuffed in a single room at the side there. That is getting food poisoning. You shouldn't be getting food poisoning. Everything's lovely and clean. And out of me. Not helped by the fact that the dogs are just wandering around in here eating meals willy nilly, but that is the byproduct of doing it this way around. Alright, hunting time. Who's coming on this particular party? Miguel? Bad air, sure. Someone with a machine gun. Norm is resting. Let's leave him be. Radish is cooking. Let's leave Radish out for this one. Siegmeyer has no weapons at all. See, my mate, do you want to go and grab, first of all, that superior personal shield, and then we'll sort you out with a weapon in a little bit later on? Alicid, charge rifle, nah. Mick, charge rifle, nah. Look at that construction skill, wow. Ruben, charge, old cat, LMG, lol. Ellie, Kira can't fight. Snipes with another sniper rifle. Snipes should really come out with his t new sniper rifle. Some aristocrat. Sure, decent hunting party. Over we come, guys. I'm going to go kill some things. Oh, they were way down the bottom. Whoops. So speaking of killing some things, what things were we killing? The emu were over here, weren't they? Come here, little emu. Aha. Uh -huh. Little do. Ibex. We'll take Ibex. Ah, there's an emu. Do we have anyone set on hunting? We actually do have a few people set on hunting. I think I might turn hunting off as a th thing. No. No, 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 no. Ignore me. Guys, fire at that. I don't know what it is. It's an alpaca. There you go. Kill. Kill. Um, lol. <laughs> Good job, guys. Well done. Randomly set fire to the countryside, shall we? Well, unfortunately, if you go and stab them next to a fire, they'll beat it out. Cool. 
I'm going to forbid those so people can start hauling. And let's go kill you, my friend. More. Uh, squirrel. Squirrels must die. Impossible to hit, apparently. Squirrels. It's one of the unwritten rules. Can't hit squirrels for raisins. They are pretty small, I suppose. I suppose, before someone says it, leave me alone. Ah, who else gets to die? Who else gets to die on this day? There's not that many animals on the map. There really isn't. That don't go bang. And I can't be bothered with animals that go bang. They are too much of a pain in the arse. This season seems to be particularly boom ratty. Oh, I missed one of them. No, Vat is busy throwing up. Wonderful. You know what, Vat is. Back you go. You'll be fine. Alright, a few ram here. These might be a bit more liable to come and attack me. More liable to get shot in the face as well, by those things. Oh no. Nice work. And a bit all of those. Anything more we can hunt? We could just go and blow some stuff up for laughs, but it does set fire to everything. Rat revenge. I don't know why I'm killing a rat. <laughs> Least meat possible. That emu's probably worth killing though. They've probably got a fair bit of meat on them. Big birds and all. You know what? Just kill that one. Doing it like that is a dangerous way of doing it. Letting them split up, because if the pawns are next to each other, then they won't hit each other. But if they're spread out a little bit, then they most definitely can. Come on, hit it! I know right accuracy actually reduces with the sniper when they get closer, but still. But weirdly, unless they're lying on the floor, and then accuracy increases dramatically when you get close. Last one. Bit of break risk? No, not break risk. At least not from these guys. Hard to hit. Harder to hit in the dark, of course. Look at the speed difference between them. Minor break risk. This has got to be from one of these guys. No, even then, it's not from one of these guys. You as well. Nice. Nice, good meat supply is just sitting around the map. What's that, boar? Sniper rifles do so much damage, it basically just one-shots all this stuff now. It's pretty nice, I guess that's the advantage of having someone with a superior. Ooh, more back here. Be careful I don't piss these guys off too hard, mind. And it's night, so we're going to miss repeatedly. I might just send you guys back now. This is seeming a little pointless. Yeah, we can do some more tomorrow. Off you go. Off you go. That's right, you eat, eat your emergency pocket meal. Bit of a storm. Yeah, sniper rifle poor. Probably want to sort some of those out as well. That should have sorted us a bit for some meat supplies. A little bit been butchered. Not much. Yeah, not much. Most of it's still up there. People who are questioning herbal meds being on in here, by the way, that's intentional. Herbal meds do spoil. Nothing else does, and so none of the other meds are in here, but the herbals are. Get that little bit of wall finished. Still need to do more sandstone. Who was on crafting for the sandstone? It's Mick. Ellie. I set the ingredient radius too low. Maybe I have. Let's crank that up a bit. Ah, no, Ellie's not idle as soon as I've done that. I think that was exactly what had happened. Well, hopefully that's what had happened. Can I hold that one open as well? I don't have that much in the way of cooling in here at the moment, so we might want to do that. Add a couple down here, perhaps. Probably ditch this central corridor entirely as well, couldn't we? Yeah, I might actually 
actually be a plan, that. Right, wooden floor, or that spot, and that spot, I suppose. A little bit more getting done. That's Vadir that's not doing anything. Alice is butchering and doing kibble, right? Yeah, he is. Cool. Nice. I don't want a kibble stockpile in there, actually. There's no point. The kibble might as well only be where the animals are. Someone. Oh, no, it's Reuben doing the hauling into it, into in there. I thought it looked like one of the chefs was repeatedly dropping the meals off in here, but they're not. That's not a problem. Okay, well, with our newfound supplies, maybe we want to start thinking about what our layout is down here. So, production. First things first, components assembly bench, and that's not an awful spot for it. Could also go right up against the wall, of course. Do this as component assembly and research, although research needs the multi-analyzer next to it. So, yeah, maybe along the top. A research bench there. Cool. Researching. What are we going for? Maybe power armor? It's expensive, but... Hey, why not? Uh, can't move that yet, even though it is the only thing we can reinstall in there. Might as well give these guys some decent chairs and stuff this time as well, haven't we? What have we got? We've got loads of cloth, if nothing else. Cloth and camel hair. Hmm, that's a bit close to the door. Cancel that for the time being. In a bit of a funny spot. Back to back in the middle of the room? No, that would be a really awkward way of doing it as well. That's the research, and then the component's the same size. So you could just about fit the multi-analyzer, the research bench, and the component assembly bench along that side there. I'm actually going to cancel that so that they finish the floor first, but yeah. In theory, you get all three along there, and I can start using the other areas for other stuff. Yay, not too bad. Not too shabby. A couple more rooms for people as well. Is the superior good? It'll do. It'll do. Can actually recruit some guys now without running out of space. Amazing. It's just hanging on certain bits. Am I still got mining queued up? Or have we gone through all that already? No, we've gone through it all already. Probably going to want to invest in that ground penetrating scanner real soon. Might be one for next episode. What's this? Marble. Nah, not that bothered. That's steel, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Steel and it's got a uh, steel floor around it too. Fair play, take that. Elephants. Way elephants, elephants. Right, this is going to need the whole crew. What time is it? Alright, tomorrow. Tomorrow we go elephant hunting to end the episode. Yes. We do eventually need to go and poke this. I know you guys will be thinking and saying that. Some people even said I should do it this episode. But no. No, we had to make some progress with this whole thing. This setup was being a bit of a mess. This is considerably better. Randy! Cargo pods for me with all of the smoke leaf leaves. He is too kind. Let me take those and sell them to a trader. Ah, there we go, there we go, now we can go... So this is the component, yep. Get our research. As soon as that's built, I'll move the multi-analyzer down. Not that it's going to be built anytime soon, because it's waiting on all sorts of stuff, but that's fine. 
And then, yeah, I think I might duplicate this out here. That actually works quite well. Potentially. Potentially not, because we've got all the turrets blocking the way, of course. But whatever. Why is there an iguana in the base? No. No iguana. And hear you thinking it from the future through the internet somehow. No. No iguana. <laughs> we do anything this time, it's going to be uh, chicken. Going to be chicken. I don't know where the animal area will be. Probably down in the corner here, something like that. But I'm going to do chicken. I think down in the corner just there. In fact, it's a perfect example of where it's going to be. Because this is useless for anything else. Pretty much. Grow a tiny bit there. About it. He's still not finished with that art. Oh, Dresden, you're terrible. Dresden. He's got really low priority on art. That's why. Okay. Elephants. Elephants. Miguel. Bad ear. Uh, uh, yeah, let's in fact basically take the whole crew for this because I don't really want him to get into a scenario where we screw it up. Uh, you need a weapon, sir? Some sort of melee weapon? Give him Tusk. Instead, instead, how about. Plastic longsword? That does seem. A silver club. <laughs> what? A plastic longsword is probably a less ridiculous choice than the other option, I suppose. Alicid, Mick, Reuben. Cats with LMGs probably going to cause more harm than good, but why not? Come on then. Snipes, Aristocrat, and not Slayer. All the gunmen. Oop. Oh. You guys can deal with it. It's raining as well. You guys can deal with that. Let's go. Where's me, elephants? Ah, I see you, elephants. It's meat time for the boys. Okay. So as usual, we're going to get the snipers. We're going to split them off into their own little pack. And then we have the close range guys to keep us safe just in case they do decide to get angry. And let's slow this down, because if they do get angry, then they're going to get real angry real fast. If you want to kill one of the elephants that's actually close enough that you might kill it. Good. More. No. Get it. Uh, nom. Oops. Nom. No one ever said you could go back. Git. It's not the, not the deal. Nor you lot. Get back here. Not how to elephant hunt. Walk up to their face. Go, hello, elephant. Come on. Come on. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. More, more, more. No. Kill them. You and I are thinking different variants of kill them. Last one. All the elephants. Guys. Don't go back without elephant. Let's um, make sure we get the tusks as well. Not good at hauling, Roger. Probably the same true for you lot as well, isn't it? Haul some elephant, guys. Haul some elephant. Another tusk just tucked away. most of them. Ah, close enough. Close enough. Charge on back. That's a nice chunk more meat ready for our stores. Just when we needed it. This is going to be... Oh, there's more elephants. It's going to be an ongoing thing, I think, this series. Now the base is up to this size. We need to sort of go out and make sure that during the summer and the spring, we're doing plenty hunting to sort of set ourselves up ready for the winter. But let's remember, and let's save it here, because it's about time to end the episode. We made some good progress, to be honest. Uh, just looking at the base from above, you can tell we made some good progress. Central section is in, starting to look pretty cool. We've definitely got prisoner rooms for days. Prisoner rooms for days that are not set to prisoner rooms. 
and do not yet have tables and chairs and so on in like I intend to, but prisoner rooms for days, we've got our new medical setup that's going to be real nice. Shouldn't have any real problems there. And of course we've got a bit more colony space and I sorted out all the stockpiles and we've got a big supply of elephant meat and yeah, not bad, not bad. Randy didn't do anything, really. Dropped some cargo pods. It's a bit unusual, but hey, I'm sure he'll make up for it next episode. He does so very much like to do that. Cheers, guys. If you enjoyed this one, smash that like button for me. Really helps me in the channel. If you didn't, right next door, just like. You know how it works. And otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'll catch you for the next one.